phase two of our tennis elbow treatment. Okay, so um, if you haven't done it already, you should have done the first video in this series where we're just doing this kind of thing. What's that? <laughs> Riding a motorbike. Don't know. Um, need the same equipment, chair, block, band, yeah. Um, and what I've done as before is I've put the band around the leg of the chair, clipped it off with a freezer bag clip. Get mine from Robert Dyers, but you can get them wherever. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Yovok can be a cushion, yeah, this goes on your leg. But when you rest in your arm, what you want to have is a bit of clearance from your fore, um, your wrist from the edge, yeah, so you've got that freedom of movement there. This time, what we're going to do, right? is we're not going to move, we're going to do an isometric contraction, so we're going to force the muscle to work in a holding in a, in a holding fashion, okay? So what I'm going to do, nice straight elbow on the uh, right arm, so I'm treat my right arm. With my left, I'm going to take up some tension on the band. If I was using a weight, I'd just be passing the weight to my other hand, and then I'm going to hold the band, and I'm just going to hold it for five seconds. I won't do five seconds, be a bit boring. But you can see, and then I release the band. So that the hand hasn't moved, yeah, it stays in position. And then I'll repeat. To begin with, you may find, you know, the first one you like, what's the fuss about, yeah? When you get to the seventh, eighth one, especially if you've got tennis elbow, you're gonna to start to feel it. So you do sets of three of those. If you can do those and you're like, that's easy, man. No, that's fine. Well done. Increase the weight of the band, increase the pressure. But also, what we're going to do now is we're going to increase the angle of the wrist. So you can see now, if I've gone from a straight wrist, I'm going to bring it slightly down, about 10, 15 degrees. And then I'm going to grasp it there. And that makes it a bit more interesting. Yeah. So we've put a little bit of a stretch and now we're asking it to hold against the resistance of the band. Yeah, and then you can just do that one now, even me with no forearm issue, I can start to feel that working. Okay, release, continue, five seconds, hold. Um, doing sets of 10, 10 to 12, three times. When we've mastered that one, we're going to, you know, real, get a real angle on the wrist now. And now we're going to hold it like so. Be conscious of your elbow, always check your elbow position, make sure it's nice and straight. Going to hold it like that for five seconds. Yeah, and build it up in that fashion. If it's eliciting pain, like actual pain, don't. Yeah, stop. You're going to re-rupture the muscle, re-rupture the tendon, aggravate it, restart your rehab, day one all over again. Okay, so not real pain, but discomfort is okay. About a number five on that very ambiguous pain scale. Okay, um, and try taping. I'm definitely probably got a taping video somewhere if I haven't just leave a comment and I'll find it and put the link in uh, taping is very good very good at treating the symptom yeah getting rid of some of the pain giving some more movement uh, but tape exercise uh, and I've got a stretch video somewhere as well I've got a good forearm stretching off video um, have a look for those and that yeah be well on the way to treating your tennis elbow